on the grind, yeah, I do this all the time Go wake up in the morning, go get a state of mind I done feel so many times, but they gotta keep trying I ain't giving up, nigga, put it all on the line, yo Alright, what is up, y'all? Today is September 7th, back at it again uh, I did not work yesterday, I took an admin day uh, I'll tell you more about that Because I got a lot accomplished for the business And I had my first annual business meeting um, my business consists of me and my wife so we had a, a meeting laid everything out on the table I'll tell you more about it though uh, one thing I have no experience as a business owner it's my first time owning a business so I'm just kind of learning on the fly but uh, one thing I learned is you might be going one direction and then you know your business might go a different direction so but I'll tell you more about that a little bit later uh, so get a late start it's about 9 30 I'm actually gonna do my dealer's route today so it's only two stops on Thursday so I'm going to the mall to pick up uh, the suits I'm gonna knock those out and then I have a tasker job a little bit later on like around 11 11 30 uh, picking up a elliptical bike um, so I, I got booked for that yesterday so uh, anyways um, somebody was asking about my business card so I just want to show you a sample of mine I made mine on Canva uh, didn't do anything special uh, Created the whole thing myself uh, They do have like logos and stuff. Uh, you might have to pay like 50 cents to a dollar uh, To purchase that and put it on your card. So I had about 250 made. I think it was like 25 bucks something like that I had to put the veteran owned on there and I had to put um, uh, Texas some Texas on there because people out here love that so uh, I Get a lot of compliments on the card. The card is very uh, catchy and um yeah man so that's what it looks like and then also i got my veteran id my new veteran id um if you guys remember i had went on base and one of the the military guys at the gate told me to get the id card with the barcode so now i could go on base i get registered i can go on base anytime i want to um for most of my pickups when i've done pickups for my carrier company i use my id to get on base um People were asking about a Twig card and all that stuff. I haven't need, I, I didn't need it. So, uh, anyways, just want to update y'all on that. And I did pick up my paycheck from the carrier company. I did quite a few jobs, so I'm gonna go over that. That's gonna be at the end of the video. Um, uh, also, um, I have purchased a compressor air pump. Um, I wasn't promoting it or nothing. I was just saying you guys know that I bought one. I uh, got it off of Amazon. It was like $54. I tried it out uh, a couple days ago. I did not like it. It was horrible. So it kept shutting off, um, overheating, all that stuff. So it wasn't a good pump. So I actually returned it and get my money back. I am going to get an air compressor though, but uh, not that one. So don't recommend that one. <laughs> um, and then last is my business gas card, my fleet card, A to B gas card. I got it through Upside. Um, I love it. I've been getting huge discounts at the pump. I've been using it. Uh, the last time I used it, I got 16 cents off per gallon. So that saves me a lot of money. So it's, tr it's triple dipping. Uh, I'm getting a discount at the pump. I'm also using upside to get cash back. And then uh, I'm uh, also building my business credit because they report to Experian uh, every month. So all good. So let's go get these suits. All right, man, it's my two stops. So this is uh, North Star Mall. That's my first stop. Second stop, Lock and Terra Mall. I'm just using my budgie cords because uh, I don't have a uh, clothing rod long enough to go across. So, And I rarely do these. We just use our minivan. So let's go knock this out real quick. All right, man, it's my last stop. Just dropped off uh, the uh, suit, the last pair of suits. And this is what I'm taking back. So this is, um, see, this is from uh, Lock and Terror. Uh, this is from uh, Lock and Terror. And this one is from North Star. So that's all I'm taking back. Uh, I have plenty of room. So I'm actually going to load up this bike. I'm headed to my tasker job now because the customer lives. I have to pass by the mall to get to the customer's house. So I'm going to pick up the bike. And then um, when I pass by the mall, drop these off, finish that route, and then uh, 
finish that tasker job we good to go all right y'all getting close to my uh pickup uh the customer is gonna meet me there i think she bought this off of like facebook marketplace or something so uh, anyways uh, i'm just gonna uh get the item load it up i'll show you what it is in my van i'm not gonna record inside the customer's house but um hopefully uh it's not too heavy i asked her how much it weighs she said uh she thinks about 150 pounds so we'll see about that you got to take it down one flight of stairs so on tasker i do charge for that i charge for the weight i charge for um uh, my leasing fee to lease my van and i charge uh stairs as well it's part of my labor All right, it's gonna be on this street right here. Actually, no, no next street. Up in here, uh, this thing is about 200 pounds. She said 150, it was about 200, maybe a little over 200. Uh, it's a pretty big bike. Um, the customer did meet us here. We had to go downstairs. Uh, it was not a straight flight. We had to make a curve. So I had to stand it up, up like tall and, uh, you know, try not to hit the walls and pictures on the wall, all that stuff. Took a while, but, uh, we just pretty much, I just kind of had to go down one step at a time. We had to stand it up straight one step at a time. So anyways, we got it in here. That's all that matter. The customer lives in a single story house. So the unload will be a lot easier. So. We'll get that knocked out. All right, man. So I just passed right by the mall. Uh, about to drop off uh, my return suits to Dillard's. So a quick $50. This route literally took uh, one hour. A little bit less than an hour to complete. So $50 here. And then uh, go drop off this bike. All right, man, I'm all done. We got this thing unloaded. Uh, it was a single story house. Uh, this is the house right here. So we just walked it in through the front door. I actually used my, uh, my, uh, what do you call this thing? Uh, shoulder dolly. So me and my helper walked it right on in. It was a lot easier because it was single story. We did have to take it to a room that was, um, like we had to turn a corner it was a tight corner but we got it in so while i was here uh there was a, a guy a black guy in a um i forgot what kind of car a little small car he pulled up to us and he said he liked what we doing and uh he uh left his number for me he wanted me to call him because he's interested in this type of this type of work so i was gonna say man that's what that's what you got to do uh if you if you're interested in this type of work you see somebody in your area, you want to get in the cargo van, you see a cargo van, talk to them. You know, nine out of 10 times, they'll talk to you. There, there are some people that won't, but uh, I'm gonna call them later on today and uh, you know, help them as much as I can. But that's what you gotta do, man, when you are hungry. He hungry, he wanna know, he wanna learn. That's what you gotta do. All right, y'all, uh, I'm done for the day. I actually uh, had got a dolly request from my guy, Steve, but unfortunately I can't do it. I have somewhere to be at three. So it was uh, seventy-six dollars just picking up um, a uh, electrical electric fireplace, a queen bed frame, and uh, a two-seater uh, recliner chair. So unfortunately, I couldn't do it. So I missed out on that. But I just want to before I end this video, I just want to go over uh, the number. So actually, today that tasker job, I charged the lady a um, hundred and twenty-five dollars. So $125, it was $100, I charged her an extra $25 for the flight of stairs. Um, so it's $125 plus she gave me an extra $40. So, so I made uh, $165 on that order, that one job. Um, and then I uh, did the dealer's route, uh, so that's another $50. So today I uh, made $215 um so just real quick i know you guys been waiting on this my uh, carrier company i had picked up my paycheck the other day and um i've done quite a few jobs for them now so on this video uh i had three i did three orders that day 
um i picked up a tsa order at the airport delta airlines it was a casket and a rush delivery a medical supply i did the medical one first and that one uh was eight miles so i'm doing from the pickup to drop off it was eight miles uh they paid me 21 dollars for the asap order so that was about two dollars and 62 cents a mile uh to me i think a lot of these orders are very similar to the gig apps that's about what you make on these gig apps um the casket that one was not a rush you have four hours to deliver it that one i drove 16 miles and I, like i said i'm doing from pickup to drop off 16 mile route they paid me 39 dollars. so that was uh two dollars and 43 cents per mile um and then my very last stop was a pallet of water some little small cases of water uh i think i had guessed how much it was i was i guessed like if that was on like freight or something i thought it would be like 28 dollars, something like that so that route was from pickup to drop off was 15 miles so 15 miles uh they paid me the exact same as the casket 39 dollars uh so that was two dollars and sixty cents per mile so i basically made about a hundred dollars that day plus i think i had a delivered order as well so it was not high earnings um they pay very similar to the gig app so was, i, I kind of knew that i knew the pay wasn't gonna be great but i will say that for local runs um i mean i'm not gonna stop working with them doing local but let me get to the other orders so that was on august 23rd on august 24th this was the day that my wife got a flat tire so i was only able to do one order uh i had picked up a uh, thousand pound uh, it, was, it was a part to a large machine vehicle uh that one i drove 30 miles 30 miles from pickup to drop off they paid me 30 dollars thirty dollars so i got a dollar per mile so that one was definitely not worth it was not good pay at all uh, i do have a problem with that one i think they should have paid more and then the big one the long distance drive this was on august 30th uh it was an asap order had to pick up early in the morning drop off to del rio at laughlin air force base that one i drove 150 miles so 150 miles from pickup to drop off and they paid me 225 dollars for that run so that was extremely extremely low i was hoping to get at least two dollars a mile uh to make about 300 dollars so 225 minus gas because I, I almost used a whole tank of gas so i spent about 60 dollars worth of gas so my net profit for that run was 165 dollars it was about almost three hours up three hours back so six hours for 165 dollar net profit definitely not worth it uh it came out to a dollar 50 per mile so i did uh so basically long story short i'm trying to keep this video short i told him i don't like to pay the local runs I don't mind it's not bad you know if i'm not driving too far you know the pay is low but i mean like i said it's pretty much equivalent to the gig apps so anything two dollars two dollars a mile or better uh i'm good with that so i told them i'm only running local runs for you guys anything outside of san antonio don't even call me i'm not doing it so they claim that you can negotiate uh, I told them I want an extra $75 for that uh, that run. So I'm going to wait to see what they say. Um, but if they don't give it to me, I am not doing anything long distance. Definitely not worth it. Um, so, yeah, $165. So my check, the, the total check was $354 for all those jobs that I did. So anyways, um, I still like having a carrier company. Uh, like I said, uh it's just another way to get some type of work stay busy that's what it's about um but the pay not good not good the, the long distance run definitely not good um so i am trying to get more money for that one i would like an extra 75 dollars. i think that one should have paid 300 dollars uh minus the 60 
um, that would have put me at about 240 profit um, that would have been a lot better for me so anyways just want to share that information with y'all um, and last but not least and before you guys light up the comments I already know I know this company is not the best some of y'all gonna be like man don't work for them don't trust me I I like what I'm doing because it's I'm like your guinea pig you know what I'm saying like I would have hate to have quit on them and never run these these especially that long run um, I'm glad that I did it so I could actually see how much they pay because you know what if I had said no I'm not doing it because I don't trust them and you know they pay four hundred dollars or something like that so I just wanted to try it you know you learn through experience I wanted to try it I see now long distance definitely don't run nothing for that company so uh, local I'm still good with it all right so anyways uh, just to end this video um, I had a meeting me and my wife our first big meeting um, there might be some changes coming so I actually want you guys opinion on this I am seriously thinking about canceling my authority um, I know you can do it anytime you can stop your authority at any time it's just a form that you fill out uh, the only thing is to get it active again you have to pay it $300 again so right now my authority is maturing I'm not using it I don't have the million dollar policy uh, I want my authority uh, mainly for our drivers when I hire drivers so that they can use my my uh, authority and and do interstate runs I'm not using it right now I'm not wasting money because I have the minimum required the minimum insurance requirement so um, it's maturing over time so when I once I'm ready to run loads when that shipper sees my authority they're gonna see that it's been active for over a year or whatever however much time it is so I'm seriously thinking about basically canceling my authority it's gonna save me some money I'm really focused on paying off my van I think so my van is covered right now through passive income through the military but that's an extra I pay six hundred dollars a month that's an extra six hundred dollars a month I could put in my pocket uh the sooner i could pay this van off so i'm really focused on that i think the sooner i pay the van off the sooner that you know i can purchase another vehicle or you know save money faster um so that's that's on the table me and my wife talked about it i don't think it's gonna hurt me at all uh like i said i've, I've seen people do it before so my uh you know my mc number dlt number is always gonna be my number so i'm seriously thinking about that let me know what y'all think uh, but I think I'll, it'll, it'll save me some money. Uh, I can lower the cost of my insurance since I'm not running interstate. I don't really need an MC right now. My carrier company does not require a high amount of insurance. So uh, anyways, I'm trying to work that out. I'm, I haven't really verified how much insurance I need because they just looked at my policy when I applied and they just said, you know, you have enough. But I didn't get the dollar amount that I need. So anyways, if it'll save me some money, I might do that that's on the table and then I'm also looking at um, box truck I know I said I wanted to get a cargo van cargo van business but I'm actually thinking about uh, my vehicle for my driver uh, will be a box truck I think I'm really thinking about that so that's on the table as well um, my goals are still the same it's just you know just kind of taking a little different road that happens so um, what else did we talk about uh, and last but not least I applied for two other carrier companies so I have two more carrier companies and then I have a third one that I might be applying for as well possibly today so one of them I did a follow-up somebody's supposed to call me next week um, so I got two more carrier companies that I applied for trying to get on with them and then uh, sorry for the lack of delivery content today uh, but it'll be more on my next video. Uh, I'll be wearing my body cam and all that stuff. But uh, anyways, man, um, I think that's about it. I don't really have anything else. Um, I will keep y'all updated on every decision I make, but I definitely would like to hear from you. Let me know if you think, um, since I'm not using my authority right now, I, I don't need it, even with my carrier company. Um, 
oh that's what it was so before still let me know if you think i should you know cancel my authority but i'm gonna i'm gonna hang on to it because i want to try dat load board that's what it was the dat load board a lot of people ask me about that why why you don't use load boards um as you know i don't really like interstate i don't like long distance otr but i want to try it i want to try that low board i know a lot of people use it and i was under the impression that you have the ha you have to have the uh, million dollar policy apparently you don't so i have three hundred thousand liability and i have five thousand cargo i actually raised my insurance up i upped it to a hundred thousand cargo so 300 100 i've heard that's the minimum that's what you need and shippers will let you run loads with that insurance so i'm gonna see if that's true but i want y'all to let me know do you want me to try dat uh and you know because i'll show you i'll show you like how to book every i don't know anything i'm just i learn on the fly like i learned just through experience so i was gonna sign up pay the i was gonna get the uh i think it's 135 dollars a month that's kind of like the most uh common uh subscription that people get um i was gonna try that one try to book a load see what it looked like uh the only thing i'm scared of i heard that getting paid is hard uh unless you have a factoring company i don't really want a factoring company because you know they're gonna take a percentage of your money too so but at least it'll guarantee you get paid so let me know you want me to try dat load board i'll be your guinea pig i'll try it before i close out my authority because you do have to have an authority to do that i was going to try that and i also was uh there's another company i want to apply for american expediting let me know the, i think some of my subscribers were talking about that let me know if you want me to try them they only require 300 100 so the same insurance i have right now i could i could apply for them with that insurance um i've heard that they're not too busy in san antonio but you never know till you try so those two i was going to try that if that didn't work out then i was thinking about you know letting that authority go and just kind of say save save money get this van paid off and then uh, take my next step so anyways that's it man um uh, i will catch y'all on the next one